Uh, my name is Roman Allman. I'm the LD16 chair, and I'm also one of your state vice chairs. Yay. I will not be running for re-election, and the reason why I'm not running for re-election is I don't believe in ceremonial offices. <laughs> we did literally nothing that was coordinated through the state party. Some of us did take it upon ourselves to try to recruit candidates. Unfortunately, I hate to say this, but the state party tried to discourage those people from running. My own two candidates in LD16 were not given any assistance from the state party. They were not even helped to get their $5 contributions. This did not happen just to them, it happened to a lot of other people. Yes. This nonsense of selecting one type of individual who supposedly maybe Asians can count better, I don't know. But the simple fact is, if you have candidates, get the candidates and help them. I don't believe the state party and I don't believe county parties ought to be endorsing in primaries. If a candidate is self recruited if the candidate is self-recruited or recruited by somebody else to run, they ought to have access to the resources because why should I contribute in LD16 and then have somebody in a county tell me, oh, we're not playing in LD16. Then give me back my money. I'm going to give it to my candidates. We should recruit as many candidates as possible for every single solitary office and if somebody tells you well that person shouldn't run, you can salute them if you want to. <laughs> the simple fact is, I as a voter want a Democrat to vote for. And if somebody tells me, no, we're not going to play in your district because it's not a competitive district, you can go to hell because we are obligated to give Democrats candidates to vote for. Thank you. Give people a choice so we're not just giving it away. So that's now going to be we're working on hashtag AZ30 by 9. You'll see some buttons and flyers out at the DFA table. Um, we're going to hopefully set up some more uh, informational links and stuff like that so we can start getting that around. <coughs> and uh, that's kind of one of the focuses I have for the upcoming uh, two, next two years. At the uh, LD Reorg meeting, Bill Rowe attended. And he, we asked him about this. Why aren't, why aren't we fielding candidates for these up-ballot races? And he told us that they did make a diligent search for a treasurer. And for some reason, he told us that, if, if I'm mistaken, somebody who was there, please, please counter that, that they were looking for an Asian woman, an Asian woman to be the treasurer candidate. I don't know how they came to that decision, but <laughs> but just to speak to, to, to what Scott how they came about it. They're idiots. Yeah, they're And I and I think I, I think that he, I don't remember the other cases on LDs and so forth. But just to say that the that the party leadership did make an effort to to find candidates, but apparently it was too little, too late, I would say, you know, but, so maybe if they put those vice chairs to, gave them a little bit more work than they're giving, yes. which is about zero, uh, they, they would do better in finding the candidates. I'm Diane Nesbitt from LD21 Maricopa County, and I'm the chair, and one of the things that has just come up, the chair's training in Maricopa County was uh, just a week ago, and our LD happens to be one of the many who was totally ignored, uh, as Roman was describing to you. But this new training <coughs> is talking about you're not going to get any help. Anybody is not going to get any help in uh, all these uh, Maricopa uh, LDs because they don't have any money. And uh, the state also doesn't have any money to help. And so they're telling us, okay, you guys are in charge of doing them everything. Well, some of us LDs have been doing everything already. <laughs> it's quite a few. But I wanted everybody to be aware that there is a really a money shortage. But we were already shortchanged, and I think it made a big difference in the election 
when we didn't get the support. Part of what the FAA did was we got a disc from the Secretary of State's office <coughs> of all the people who donated money the last four years in the state of Arizona. Um, one of our computer nerds is breaking that down to the congressional districts and the legislative districts so that if you're running in a red district or a competitive <coughs> district, which actually are six of them, um, we can be, we'll be able to hand you the people given five to so the state candidates, statewide candidates, and the people in your district. That's something the party won't do unless you give them $25,000 per candidate. Yeah. We'll be doing this because it's necessary for our people to win. I'll be working with uh, Scott on expanding the Speak Out program that we started uh, a year ago so that we can teach people how to run as Democrats with Democratic values framed in a way that people understand them and, and agree with us. We're going to use the, the book, uh, Don't Think of an Elephant, the latest edition by George Lakoff. And we need to raise some money for the books and for people to be professionally paid because we have people like uh, doc, uh, Dr. Heidrich and Dr. Dickinson who are from ASU and we want to find other people who, are, who have taught communications to be able to go to all 30 LDs and set up this program. 